Hey there, science enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey into the world of cell biology. Get ready to dive into the intricacies of the cell membrane, the dynamic barrier that separates the cell from its surroundings. If you're as curious as we are, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our captivating biology content. Let's kick things off with a brief introduction. The cell membrane, also known as the plasma membrane, is like the gatekeeper of the cell. It's a phospholipid bilayer that encases the cell, controlling what enters and exits. But there's so much more to discover. Now, let's delve into the cell membrane structure. Imagine a sea of lipids, with proteins and carbohydrates floating within. The lipid bilayer comprises two layers of phospholipids, each with a hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tails. Proteins are embedded in this lipid sea, some spanning the entire membrane while others rest on the surface. Carbohydrates decorate the outer surface, forming the glycocalyx. One of the membrane's key functions is selective permeability. This means it allows certain molecules to pass through while keeping others out. Small nonpolar molecules, like oxygen and carbon dioxide, can slip through the lipid bilayer. But larger molecules, ions, and polar molecules need help from specialized transport proteins. Let's dive into the various ways molecules move across the membrane. Active transport uses energy to move molecules against their concentration gradient, while passive transport relies on the gradient and doesn't require energy. Diffusion, facilitated diffusion, osmosis, these processes keep the cell in balance with its environment. The cell membrane is like a communication hub. Receptor proteins on the surface recognize specific molecules, like hormones, and trigger cellular responses. This is how cells communicate with each other and their environment, ensuring proper coordination. Did you know the cell membrane also plays a role in cell adhesion and forming tissues? Proteins like integrins help cells stick together and interact with the extracellular matrix, providing structural support and influencing cell behavior. When substances are too big to pass through the membrane, cells have ingenious methods. Endocytosis engulfs particles by forming vesicles, while exocytosis releases materials outside the cell. These processes are essential for nutrient intake, waste removal, and cell communication. And there you have it, the cell membrane, an intricate player in the cellular symphony. From controlling what enters and exits the cell to facilitating communicating structure, this lipid and protein mosaic is truly fascinating. Thank you for joining us on this captivating exploration of the cell membrane's structure and functions. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow science enthusiasts. Drop your questions or suggestions in the comments below. Stay curious, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.